question on quadratic function we are given that a quadratic function f has its vertex at the point 3 comma 2 and it intersects the x axis axis at x equals to 5 now we know the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola which can it is can be upward opening it can be downward opening it can also cut x axis it can be up uh, above x axis or it can be below x axis the functions has of this form ax square plus bx plus c and depending on the sign of a this parabola can open upwards or downwards now in the given question we are given that this vertex you know this coordinates of this vertex if we are assuming it to be ax square plus bx plus c are minus b by 2a comma minus d by 4a it does not matter whether this is opening upwards or downwards the vertex will be at minus b by 2a comma minus d by 4a now let us see what is given in the question in the question the fx is given as a times x minus h square plus k now we know the vertex is at 3 comma 2 so we can expand this expression this will be x square minus 2hx plus h square plus k or you can find it to be ax square minus 2ahx plus ah square plus k so that we can compare it with ax square plus bx plus c now we are given in the question that the vertex is at minus b by 2a comma minus d by 4a so the value of minus b by 2a will be minus the coefficient of x which is minus 2ah divide by 2 times the coefficient of x square which here is a now this is given to us equals to 3 so you can simplify this this is cancel and you will get the value of h as 3 so the value of h will be 3 now we can find the value of minus d by 4a so the minus d d basically means b square minus 4ac so this will be minus 2ah square minus 4 into a into h which is ah square plus k so this is b square minus 4ac divided by 4 into coefficient of x square which here is a and this is given to us a equals to 2 so this will be minus this is 4 a square h square this is minus 4 a square h square minus 4 a k divided by 4 a equals to 2 so this is cancelled so you get is 4 a k divided by 4 a which is equals to 2 so the value of k comes out to be 2 so the value of h is 3 and k is 2 so we can find the value of h and k now we also have to find the value of a now how do we find the value of a we also know that the function given to us intersect x axis at 5 comma 0 and its vertex is at 3 comma 2 so you know since its vertex is at 3 comma 2 it is also intersecting at 5 comma 0 and it is a symmetric graph so this will be a downward opening parabola and since it is a symmetric point you know if this is 3 comma 0 another point will be 1 comma 0 
so the sum of root one root will be one another root will be five so the sum of root will be equals to six which you know is minus b by a minus so b here is the coefficient of x which is minus 2a h divided by the coefficient of x square which is a so if you equate it to 6 you get is h equals to 3 which we have already found now we will be using product of roots alpha into beta which is 1 into 5 or is also equals to c by a so we will be getting is the constant term the constant term in our expression is a h square plus k divide by the coefficient of x square which is a equals to 5 now we know h which is 3 square plus k which is 2 divide by a equals to 5 so we have to find the value of a by solving this equation so we can solve this to find the value of a this will be 9 a plus 2 equals to 5 a so this will be 4 a equals to minus 2 or a equals to minus half so the value of a is minus half value of h is 3 and value of k is 2 so these are the values which we needed to find in the a part now let us move on to the b part in the b part we are given another function zx which is the function zx given to us is p x square plus t minus 1 x minus p and we have to find the value of p and t using the given information that z of minus 3 and z of 1 are 4 so if z of minus 3 is equals to 4 and z of 1 is 4 we can put the value of minus 3 in the function z so we will get is minus 3 square plus t minus 1 into minus 3 minus p equals to 4 and putting this 1 here this will be t minus 1 into 1 minus p equals to 4 so from this equation you know you can find the value of t which is equals to 5 and here you will get is 9p minus plus t has already been found so 4 into minus 3 minus p equals to 4 so you can simplify this 8p equals to 16 and p will be equals to 2 so p has the value of 2 and t has the value of 5 now let us see what is the second part of this question we have to find the range of g so have we been able to identify the function gx yes by putting the value of p and t you will get gx as 2x square plus 4x minus 2 and since a is positive its range will be minus d by 4a comma infinity it will be an upward opening parabola vertex at minus b by 2a minus d by 4a so the value of minus d by 4a will be minus b square which is 4 square minus 4 into a which is 2 into minus 2 divided by 4 into 2 so this will be minus 16 plus 16 divided by 8 so this is minus 4 so the range is minus 4 to infinity it will be an upward opening parabola ranging from minus 4 to infinity so now let us move on to the next part so in the c part we have to identify that 
we are given a function j which is minus x plus 3p and the function gx which is px square plus t minus 1 into x minus p and we have to show that these two intersect at two distinct points of intersection. What does that mean? This means that if we solve this equation px square plus t minus 1 into x minus p that is the gx which is px square plus t minus 1 into x minus p with minus x plus 3p what we will be getting is we should be able to get at least two distinct solution for this given equation. You can see this is an equation, a quadratic equation in x. You can see this is px square plus t minus 1 into x minus p equals to minus x plus 3p. You can now simplify this px square plus tx minus x minus p equals to minus x plus 3p. This is removed. So this will become px square plus tx. When this comes to the left side, you will see this will become minus 4p equals to 0. Now, if this quadratic equation has two distinct solutions, two distinct real solutions, the given graphs will intersect at two distinct points. So when this quadratic will have two distinct solution when its d is greater than, sorry, d is greater than 0. Because in equality, the roots will not be distinct. So we will try to write the value of this discriminant which is b square minus 4ac. b square is t square minus 4 into a into c. So you can see the discriminant is coming out to be t square plus 16 times p square. Now you can see this is definitely greater than or equals to 0 because both are squares. So any square will always be either equals to 0 or more than this. But at the same time in the given question you can clearly see that we are given that p is not equals to 0. If p is not equals to 0 we can say that the first term t square will be greater than equals to 0 and p square will be greater than 0. It cannot be equals to 0 because it is given that p is not 0. That means our conclusion that this is greater than or equals to 0 is not correct. The more appropriate conclusion will be that the discriminant is greater than 0 because p cannot be 0 and another term is always greater than or equals to 0. Therefore, the root, the equation has two distinct roots, two distinct real roots, which are real also distinct and real and hence we can say the graph will intersect at two distinct points. So this is your solution and for more such questions and their detailed explanation do visit our website iitnacademy.com and register for regular updates. Thank you.